In late October of 2012, Superstorm Sandy swept through the Northeast, affecting countless communities and homeowners. The storm caused unprecedented devastation in the town of Sayreville, New Jersey, destroying many homes in the neighborhood, including that of Joe and Janet Messieurs. We're here to do what we can in helping with the relief effort. Hi, it's Janet Mejour. Hi, Joseph Mejour. And we're in the Obridge section of Sayreville, New Jersey. Well, it's a small three by two block neighborhood, uh, very close knit community. Uh, and we're at the far outskirts of Cerebral. 2001, we, we, we were the first owners of this. It was a new construction and... Uh, it and, just felt uh, like a home when, when yeah. we saw it. We really liked it a lot. You know, everybody knows everybody here. Yeah. That's what we love. We're a very cl close-knit yeah. family people, and that's what it is about this neighborhood. We and do, and through times such as this, everybody tries to help out one another. We you all know, came and, together. Yeah. That was the amazing part. Weather quickly, unfortunately, going downhill. Hurricane Sandy is coming. It is here, and the challenges are just beginning. Please help the governor. We're trying. The day before Sandy came, they had sit on CNN or one of them news stations. Wherever the high tide is, imagine it being 10 feet above the highest level. So this is a typical normal high tide now today. So I came down here with Natalia and I says, Natalia, let's look back now and see where 10 feet's gonna be around. Because if you look from here and if you turn around where you can see my house through this tree line, look at the, the distance the water had to travel to get to my house. Hopefully first and last time. So the day before, I kept checking. I was on it. I come home from work, I'd be on a computer every hour. Updates, every hour updates, hoping it would swing a little bit uh, north or a little bit south, you know, and... It didn't. It, you know, it was very hard to believe that we were gonna lose everything at that one moment. I didn't want to believe it, that it was going to be as bad as it was. I was skeptical, but had I listened, maybe we would have put a lot more stuff up. But I mean, I could only save so much. Where can you put everything, you know? So the night we went to my sister-in-law's house, I came back the next morning. It's like 4, 10, 4, 15, because I wanted to see what my house was left. As soon as I rounded the corner and I saw all that river stuff on the side of my house, that's when I knew reality set in and I knew we were invaded, you know, that Sandy had came inside. We worked so hard and we're still young and everything we put into this house was just washed away. Yeah. That was the hard part. But we will rebuild. We plan on rebuilding. We plan on staying. However long it takes, I mean, um, just got to go one day at a time. Hi, how's it going, guys? <laughs> Come on out. How are ya? Are you? You must be Natalia, right? Christina, how's it going? George? <laughs> Janet, how are ya? I'm George Alphon. Oh. oh my gosh. <gasps> oh man. What's up, Joe? How's it going, man? Oh. <laughs> you know, I heard about what, what had happened and uh, you know, I'm, I'm just, uh, my heart goes out to you and so, you know, I'm here to make it right. And, uh, <laughs> We're gonna fix everything up, uh, and uh, you know, hopefully, you'll always have the memories of the of the storm, but you won't have to see him ever again, and we'll get through this. All right? Awesome, awesome, yeah. Man. All right. Awesome, you man. You got more energy than anyone I've ever uh, seen. Barreling out of here. Uh, two cups of coffee. Yeah. We got four o'clock yeah. in the morning. <laughs> helping me out with this rescue. We have our designer, Amory Griffin, our contractor, Matt Wendorf. And like many houses that were affected by Sandy, this was no different, but as soon as the water got out of here, Joe got on it. He started ripping out drywall. He didn't know that we were gonna come to his rescue. He didn't have insurance. He didn't know what to do. And so he was trying to do what he could to save his house. Well, that's one of the best things. So many, so many places have been affected by wind damage, flood damage, the storm was unbelievable. I mean, the fact that he got on it right away, yeah. the mold didn't have a chance to set in, develop, and grow. We're gonna have to see how, how the water's affected these floors. We're gonna start there in the kitchen over here. Yep. We're gonna pull everything up. We're gonna see what kind of moisture's under there, and then we'll go from there. I see the whole perimeter of the house he ripped up. We're gonna do some tests to see if he ripped up high enough. We have to check all his outlets. 
mm -hmm. and then we'll put it back together. So not only do we want to repair all the damage from Sandy and make this place safe, but I thought this was a great opportunity to make the home even better than it was before. So what do you see for design plan? Totally. Um, I'd like to keep this somewhat basic because it is their only living space, right. but then I also want to give it a little bit of a flair and basically just keep it still within the feel of the New Jersey neighborhood. Nothing yeah. too much. Matt, you'll be happy to hear this. It's going to take a lot of hands, right? Well, we have the New Jersey Carpenters Union helping us out, so uh, they're going to be able to help us, you know, rip out whatever we need to do and rebuild it the best way possible. Well, in any one of these types of situations, those are the guys you really want on hand, so we're set. All right, well, what do you say? Let's start getting this stuff out and get to work. Yeah. Totally. AJMadison.com, we're your appliance authority. Hopefully, we're not going to find any mold and mildew, but at least we have the right protection in case we do. You're all set, Matt. Glasses. Obviously, it's good to protect your ears. You want to be able to hear things when you get older. And uh, you never know what you're going to be pulling up, so uh, protect your hands. Have at it, guys. Great. Get geared up. So we got everyone working here. What are we going to do with this kitchen floor? There's no buckling, per se. Which is a good uh, thing. That's a great thing, especially because it's an engineered floor. Uh, it's going to resist the moisture a little bit better. I just... I'm not happy with what could be underneath the floor. You need to know. So we're going to pull this up. We're going to do moisture tests. We're going to test the concrete. We're going to test the floor. Then we can decide what we can do here. Definitely working up a sweat here. Pulling up this floor is definitely one of the hardest things we've done on the rescue. Right now we have one, two, three, four, five, six guys all working in the kitchen. and. Uh, I'd say we got about maybe a quarter done. We've been at this for like, what, four or five hours? So uh, it's gonna be a long day. All right, Matt, so we've opened up the doorway that goes from the dining room to the kitchen. Now, was there a reason for that? Was it structural or was this just a cosmetic move? Well, this was more of a cosmetic and functionality move. All right. They have a family of four. Right. Uh, they, they had a kitchen it was slightly on the smaller side. They had a lot of wasted space. So yeah. we figured, let's take the opportunity, open things up, get them some sort of island in here. I like that. Peninsula. So we decided, look, if we shift this over, we can have good storage space over here, good eating space over here, and it's going to be great. Now, originally, I see that we were using a green board instead of a regular drywall for this main floor here. Now, usually I use green board in bathrooms, sometimes basements, but never on the main living room floor. Why are we doing that? Well, we thought because green board is moisture resistant because of the problems they had here with water coming in the home, that if it ever happened again, they would be one step ahead. On the perimeter, you All are. on our perimeters, we're starting to find these little growth spots yep. that, uh, uh, has some cause for concern. It's ripping up all the floors. Yeah. yeah. The time has come to start assembling our kitchen. As you can see, we have cabinets as far all over this place. Um, we got a roadmap here. You need this, or it's no. already up in there? Right there, buddy. George the Rescue is sponsored in part by 3M. For more information on 3M products or to find a retailer near you, go to 3M.com. Hey, Matt, how, how are, are you? you? How's it going, man? Very good. How are you, George? Doing great. Welcome to the shop. Well, it's good to be here, and I understand that you are a wizard with wood, so I'm hoping that uh, you can help us. We're looking to build some built-ins and uh, also some raised paneling for uh, in the dining room. I think I can help you with that.
Looking good. Dave, never could have done this without you and your team, man. Thank you so much. Thanks, Dave. You're Thank welcome. You. You're welcome. It's going to look beautiful in that living room. The time has come to start assembling our kitchen. As you can see, we have cabinets as far all over this place. Um, we got a roadmap here. You need this or it's no, already up in there? Right there, buddy. Now, when you're putting in kitchen cabinets, you want to start with your upper cabinets. Get them in first. Reason being, that way you can get in, you know, make sure they're up, they're tight, they're secure. Then you can step back and slide in the lower ones. You don't want to be butted out trying to push things up. 3M and Benjamin Moore coming together. See, the 3M blue painter's tape is not just to make sure you have super sharp paint lines. It's also a good way to get all the lint off your roller before you put that first drop of paint on the walls. Well, the nice thing about Benjamin Moore Ore is it's self-priming, so it already takes one step out of the whole process. It also gives exceptional hide, so obviously we're covering up a lot of stuff. We're marrying new drywall and old drywall. And with good paint and good technique, you're gonna get great results. You know, we know that you guys are there and we're so grateful that you're going to help us out. And I don't know how to even say thank you enough what you guys are doing for us. And there's so many other families out there that, you know, deserve it too. And we're so fortunate to have you guys come and help us. And there's so many people that are helping us that we don't even know them and they're doing this for us. And that's the thing that hurts because I would love to individually thank them <laughs> and give them a big hug. <laughs> Words can't say what this means to us. I mean, I would have gotten it done eventually, I don't know when, but it's just huge that, that all these people, and like when I, when I met some of the guys, and I, it's just nice knowing that there's so many caring people out there and they're willing to stop their lives and sacrifice for ours. And sometimes I say, well, why, why us? You know, there's more worthy ones, but I'm glad you guys showed up. Coldwell Banker Real Estate, fulfilling dreams for 106 years. You know, Matt, what we got going on in here, replacing this entire kitchen and all the appliances, that's a daunting process for a homeowner. Yeah, I mean, one of the things is you, you need to select an appliance that, number one, is gonna work with your lifestyle. Yep. But another important aspect is selecting the right appliance for the space you have. I mean, the measurements of your appliances are key. Now, we got everything here from AJ Madison, and what's great about them is they have experts at the store who will help you through that process. Yeah, and I mean, they, they have the tools for you to teach you how to measure for your appliances, which is probably one of the best things you can do. Mirrors come in handy. <laughs> I know. I caught, a, I caught a glimpse of myself. I was like, whoa, wild hair. Who is this guy? Matt, I need actually somebody else over here to hold this so I can move back. I should have worn my camouflage today. You know what? Bring the two ovals in the center and then put the circles on the, on the either side. I think my, my arms are locked in this position. We can even put that one in the bathroom if we need. Oh, wow, that's a great idea. Great idea, George. Well, I am George the Rescue, so. I come up with good ideas every once in a while. You got that middle one? I got the middle one. I got, look at these gloves. Whoa! Oh, jeez. <laughs> that was good. That really was good. Funny. In essence, everyone in their house should always change their, their cushions dose. every day. Because if you sit here, you're sitting like this, your head gets smushed. Really? Every day, you should turn it and it will keep the, 
keep your cushion forever. There you have it. I am actually going to tell my wife to stop punishing my kids for throwing all the cushions on the ground. Flip the cushions! Flip them! <laughs> Everyone, flip your cushions! All right, let's put them back on now. Oh, yeah, I'm ready for a nap. Can I have the little dog? Excuse nice, me, thank this you. comes. And now you can have that one. Nice, thank you, thank you, that's better, that's much, oh. Well, George, we have work to do here. Look at you. And she's strong. Amory, and she's strong. Muscles McGee, <laughs> Amory. Now you designed this kitchen soup to nuts. Yes. Talk me through it. Well, as far as the look, yeah. we wanted to do something a little traditional with a modern flair. Mm -hmm. So this is transitional, really. We yeah. could go either way, modern, traditional. Put a little knob that's a little more modern. The beautiful backsplash that definitely makes it a modern flair that we love. And uh, finish it up. Got all of our awesome GE appliances, the stainless steel, marries nicely. I think everything that Joe, Janet, and the girls want it's embodied right here in this kitchen. Up high. All right, so where does this go, right up here? Yeah. Now, it's all right to mix gold and silver? Yes, I love it. The dining room is pretty much all golds. People never think that you can mix silver and gold, and no, it looks no. amazing together. You always want all of your rooms to flow, so therefore I bringing, feel like I'm bringing the dining room into here and dressing it up, hence mixing the silver and gold. Or vice versa, the living room flows right into the dining room. Correct. You got your silver lamps, you've got your gold lamps, and then on the bookshelves we have a little silver and gold. Correct. I like it. Nice. With that, I think we're done. Thank you so much for joining me. Let's go welcome Joe, Janet, and the girls back home. Sure. Okay. Brought to you by GE. GE works. So I'm a Jersey girl and I love New Jersey and it meant so much for me during Sandy to help out another family. They lost everything and now they're gonna come home today and the house is stunning and they're gonna be so happy. So that makes me super happy. Well, when Hurricane Sandy was approaching the coast of New Jersey, it was unbelievable to think that we were gonna be the direct hit. Many people lost so many things, and just to help out one person, I thought was gonna make a difference. If I helped out somebody, then maybe they'll help out somebody. Um, but the state's hurting, and we needed some help. It's gonna take some time. It's gonna take a lot of effort, a lot of hard work, and most of all, a lot of patience. But we will rebuild. We will rebuild New Jersey. What's up, family? Hey. How you guys doing? Hello. How you guys doing? You doing all right? You see my shirt? I, I do. George. Wow. What? <laughs> that is hey. awesome. You guys ready to come home? We're ready. Yes. Home. Obviously, the last time you guys were home, it was right after Sandy. Oh. It's a lot different than that right now. <laughs> you guys ready to see it? Yeah. All right, come with me. Three, two, one. Miss your family, welcome home. Oh my God. <laughs> oh my God. This is so pretty. Oh my God. Oh. oh my <laughs> God! Oh my God! <laughs> now this is awesome. Mom, look at the kitchen. Oh my God! Can we look? Yeah, it's all yours. It's all yours. Oh my God! Oh my God! There's an island. You guys can eat breakfast. <laughs> Oh my god, there's a desk! Look, Joe, you can do your stuff! Oh my gosh! Oh my when I left, the way it looked, to, to now, the transformation, it's unreal. I've seen your work, I've known what could be done, 
but I never, never expected it to look this. This is beautiful. <laughs> oh my God, a beautiful dining room table. It's, it's, it's a dream come true, and you know what? We haven't had a lot of dreams come true, and <laughs> this is my dream come true. It really is. <laughs> this is something that I've been always wanting, but I didn't never think that we could provide this for our family, mm -hmm. and I thank you for that. This is, oh. oh my God! Thank you, man. <laughs> Thank you. So, so we do all right? Oh, oh my God, oh, yeah! How could you say that? <laughs> this is more than okay. Yeah. <laughs> Believe it or not, I'm kind of speechless, and I'm like the last one to be speechless. We just did the best that we could with what we had left, and. Um, I don't know what I would have did if you guys didn't come along and bail us out. I mean, this is, yeah, we, we've been rescued. It's, it's, it's an amazing feeling.